Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Lyle, and I just got back from a production of Risen at one of our local Pensacola churches. It's the story of Jesus coming to earth, living a perfect life, then giving his life for me and for you on the cross, being buried for three days, and then miraculously conquering the grave, conquering death, rising again so that you and I could spend eternity with him in heaven. And I was thinking, God could have come to earth at any age. He could have come to earth as a grown man, started his ministry with John the Baptist and accomplished everything the same. But in God's perfect plan, he decided to come to earth in the womb of a mother. Just like you and I are created in the image of God at the moment of conception in the womb of our mothers, God himself came to earth for me and for you in the womb of of a mother. There's something very holy and precious about the womb, and there's something very holy and precious about us being created in the image of God. Last year, the number of abortions just here in the United States again crossed the one million mark, but this time over 63% of those abortions were via the abortion pill. It's the first time it's ever been that, that high. 98% of the time, the abortion pill will kill an infant created in the image of God at the moment of conception up to 10 weeks gestation. Over 640,000 babies last year killed with a simple pill. God help us all. This is a spiritual battle. Abortion is an attack on the image of God in the womb, and it's great that we have politicians that stand up for life. It's great that we have physicians and obstetricians standing up for life. But this is a spiritual battle, and it needs to be led by our church leaders. Our pastors, our priests, and our rabbis need to be leading this battle. And the doctors and the politicians can assist. This is a story of salvation. It's a story of redemption. The most important weapon that we have is not legislative. It's not education. The most important weapon that we yield is the gospel. It's the gospel that changes hearts. It's the gospel that changes minds. It's the gospel that changes behavior. So tomorrow, as you are celebrating the resurrection of Jesus, who came for all of us, think about God's preborn in the womb. The womb is holy. That's how Jesus came into the world for me and for you was via the womb and we need to defend the image of God. These are my patients in the womb and a patient is a person no matter how small and we need to defend God's preborn. Celebrate the resurrection. Thank God for the gift of salvation and do your best to defend God's preborn in the womb. If you have any questions, you can contact me Dr. Bill Lyle at ProLifeDoc.org. God bless you all. Have a wonderful Easter.